Hello guys, I'm Nikit here and now I'm gonna live food the Kali Linux. Uh, when I tried to install it, it gave me an error. I don't know what's the problem. I actually made a video installing it, but it gave me an error. So it is a 3G, it is a 3G size file. It is a Kali Linux 1.0.7 and it is a 64 bit version. I just downloaded. So let me recheck on what OS it is based on for you guys. Just for the sake of convenience, it is based on Debian. Okay. So I'm gonna the default desktop is Genome, okay. So I'm gonna quickly install it in my muscle box here. Let's create a new muscle machine. Kali 1.0.7 Linux Debian. I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna give a base memory of 5 GB. I'm gonna create a new virtual hard disk here. I'm gonna give it 40 GB as usual. I'm gonna increase the CPU goals here or also to make the processing faster. And instead of display, I'm gonna increase the video memory also. Okay, so we start it and I'm gonna select the ISO file. Uh, the ISO file is downloaded by torrent. So here's the ISO file, it is of 3 GB. Let's select it and start the OS. Okay, so we get these options. You get five options of live boot. All other option is to install the OS with graphical install, normal install, or you get speeds. You can install it with speed since it is a synthesis. So I'm gonna go with the first option. As I said, the installation gave me an error in between. So I just have to uh, re-download the ISO file. I just still test test it, but it gave me an error. I don't know what's the problem. Maybe it might be a problem with uh, uh, might be the problem with the virtual box. So I don't know what's the cause. I didn't take a look at the locket. I don't need it. Huh. Okay. So we are now booting up the OS and. Uh, so here it is the Kali Linux 1.0.7 and it is based on Debian and here you get these applications. So let me just quickly show you the you are here we get these applications here. You take a you can take a look at and in electronics, in graphics you get the image viewer in the ham radio, in the internet you get ice visual as a default web browser. But I have heard somewhere that the Kali Linux team decided to use another browser instead of Ice Weasel because it might be giving it uh, it might be giving them some error or i just uh, read about this that maybe s some os people were there some teams were there that they didn't like the ic then they replaced it with another browser so i don't rem remember exactly okay as we know that kali linux is used for hacking and passwords and all so you get these application you get these options and this is why I like Kali Linux. You can uh, use password attacks. You can f hack passwords. Yes, you can hack Wi-Fi also with this OS. And uh, I'm not gonna show you every each and everything. You can obviously check it, check this OS up uh, by yourself only. The wireless attacks. You get these. You can hack Bluetooth. You can exploit any OS or any IP address if you want and uh, you can spoof your identity you get here uh, option of here also and this is awesome that is quite awesome and the maintaining access you get backdoors here uh, and the reverse you get the reverse engineering tools also here okay uh, The hardware king okay, so we get in the Android rules you get APK tools back small it takes to jar and smally uh, small i sorry so you get these application the Kali Linux is basically made for hacking and cracking into Wi-Fi bars with Bluetooth and all I used it once to hack my neighbor's Wi-Fi password and it actually worked. 
I get is uh, uh, the the neighbor's Wi-Fi was one GB base and its speed was one GB base, so I was quite happy. But the sad part is that the neighbors moved to another location, so that's annoying for me. <laughs> so um, and now I'm using a 512 GB base internet connection. So that's quite a disappointment. It takes a lot of time to upload the videos and download the stuff. Okay, okay. So leaving this in the office, you get the library office, I guess. Okay, this time no library office. That's good. In the programming with these apps, you get SQLite the database browser. You can view SQLite files if you want, the DB files if you want. Uh, and the sound video you get Brazil as default ISO disk bundle, and you can you get sound recording. You get VLC media pre-installed. In the system tools, you get Gparted pre-installed. In the preferences, you get these apps. Okay, let me just quickly jump into system settings and see the details of the system. Mm. Okay, and it is still based on GNOME 3.4.2. Well, why don't these guys update their GNOME version to the latest version or maybe just update it to 3.10? I don't know what's the freaking problem. But still, that's not a main thing to focus on. The main thing is, uh, which is, as I said, that it is used for hacking and stuff. So okay, uh, I guess that's it. You can check out the OS if you want. Uh, as I said, it is mainly used for hacking and stuff. Okay, so it is giving me an error. That's super awesome. I don't know what's the problem. It's giving me an error. So just leave it. I just showed you everything, I guess. So okay, just leave it. I'm gonna shut this down. So I just wanna see you guys. I just have to directly shut this down. So, okay, guys, thanks for watching. Please do it, comment, and subscribe. So, do check out my next videos if you like. Till then, bye, peace.